Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna do a benchmark test, or not one benchmark test, I'm gonna do several benchmark tests with the Galaxy S7 Edge. And the tests we're gonna do, you can see here, it's Antutu benchmark, it's Quadrant, it's a new one that I'm not, that I didn't know existed until I did some research, and it's called Velamo, and then we got 3D Mark, and GFX Bench. So we're gonna run all these and we're gonna see how the phone perform and compare it to some other devices. So let's start with the first test which is gonna be the 3D Mark. So I'm gonna make sure I clear all my apps. Remove this and then let's start this test. See how this bad boy performs. And before I start this, yes, you should be aware of that benchmarks are not any type of real life performance since it only shows how much the phone is capable of doing when pushing it to its limit. Even though the Galaxy S7 Edge is a really, really powerful device, I have had it stuttered, it's been freezing up on me, I have had to restart it, it has been randomly restarted itself several times even though it's such a powerful device but that's for another video so stay tuned for that where I'm gonna investigate more in that let, so let's just now look at the raw performance of the Galaxy S7 Edge and let's start the 3D Mark benchmark here and the one we're doing here is the Slingshot ES 3.1 that's the most powerful one or the most demanding one on the 3D Mark benchmark. So let's run this and see how it goes. Alright, so we're back now. The result is done. Let's take a closer look at this and see what we got here. So as you can see, it scored 2175, which is really good. As you can see, it says good news. This one is the most powerful device around. Everything seems to be working normally. Let's take a screenshot of this so we can compare it all later. And um, what's interesting about the 3D Mark, this test, is that it's actually using its native resolution, the screen's resolution. It's actually using the Galaxy S7's 2K display. Many benchmarks scale it down to 1080p and many games as well, so this is truly a good test to see how hard you can push it. So let's now move on to the next benchmark and close this out let's now do the probably the one you know most about or heard most about on Tutu so let's load this up and let's run it Alright guys, so now we got the scores in for the Antutu benchmark, and as you can see, it got 130,000 163. So we can do some comparison here. You can see here that uh, my device is a number four right behind iPhone 6s and the Galaxy S7 Edge there and I don't think I mentioned this in the beginning but I'm actually using the Exynos version this is the international or the European Exynos version of the Galaxy S7 so I have the octa-core Exynos processor in here and as recent test shows it's supposed to have a little weaker graphics part in it and that could be the case why mine is a little bit lower than the Antutu reference, reference S7 Edge has. 
but as you can see it's still a really 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 powerful phone one of the most powerful you can get right now so let's now move on to the next benchmark let's just take a screenshot of this and now let's move on to the next one which is GFX Bench so let's start this up Alright, finally we got that benchmark done. You really, really did push the... Okay, so now we got the benchmark done here. We really pushed the phone to its limits here. It took a long, long time to run this benchmark. And we can do see some quick numbers here. And as you see, m most of the... See here, hers... Uh... 2k test up here you can see it only scored 7.9 fps and that's most likely why most games run at 1080p because that's the resolution that still phones will be able to handle we're not quite there yet that the graphics parts in the phones are strong enough and powerful enough to run 2k games but we're soon there we're gonna be there soon if we now do some comparison here Let's search for say the S6 Galaxy S6. For example, let's do the S6 Edge Plus. If we do that, we can see that S6 Edge Plus only get 300. You can see my device here. S. 6 edge plus and here is something really interesting look at this this is the double performance here 877 versus 412 on the s6 edge plus and as you can see it got a lot a lot better to the left where we have the s7 edge even though this is the exynos version we can still see that it outperforms its predecessor by a lot so it truly is a really powerful phone. Here's interesting though, here it's almost the same. But as you can see, it's just super, super fast. So that is interesting. There's no iPhone, sadly, so we can't compare it to an iPhone. But that's that test. Let's now do, these were all mostly graf graphical tests. Let's not do the processor itself. Let's just go back here. I'm just going to get a quick screenshot here. So we can do compressing at the end. So if I go back to S6 Galaxy S6 Edge Let's just do a screenshot here so we can compare later. Now let's exit out of here. Let's now do Quadrant. Alright, so now we're done here. Let's click on Yes. And we can see some results here. So this bad boy scored 53,200. And 26. As you can see, it's just killing everything on the list, even though these are really old devices. I don't really get why Quadrant never updated this list, but as you can see, this is a true powerhouse. Alright, let's move on to the next benchmark. Before we do that, let's take a screenshot. Close out of that. And now we have, let's see, we should have Geekbench 3 here. There we go. Geekbench 3. This is this is the one that's 
only focusing on the processor itself, on the CPU. So we're going to run this and see what this phone scores. And as you can see here, this is the Mali T88, T880 or 880 GPU, and we have Android 6.0.1. There you have the model number, it's the Exynos version. 3.5 gigabyte of RAM available. So let's do the test. There it's done. And here we can see the scores. They're pretty impressive. 6,559 on the multi core and 2,070 on the single core, which is just killer specs. I'll put some other devices up here in the corner so you can just have a little reference here to see what other devices scores. And let's now move on to the final benchmark. This is one that I haven't had so much experience with. It's called Velamo if that's the correct way to pronounce that. So we're gonna fire it up. Let's make sure it's the only thing that's open. Yes. And here you can do some different, you can do multi-core benchmark, you can do what they call a metal benchmark, measure the maximum horsepower of a single operation, and they can do browser tests. So we're going to do all these three, and as you can see the multi-core is in beta, but that's, we're going to do it either way. So let's do the browser test first, I'm going to use the stock browser. So let's run this again, and see what it scores. All right, so now we are done with this test. Let's take a look. The browser test. So basically what we got here was 6,837. Do you want to compare with other devices? Yes. So let's do that. And here you can see we have the S6 there we have the Note 4 and you can see that my S7 Edge here, this, the Exynos version, outperforms them by quite a lot, especially the Note 4 which shouldn't be a surprise. And then the S6 by a little bit over a thousand points as well. So that is really good. What's weird though is that I once I've even got that score while doing this test. So I, you can even get as high as that but it probably because I've been doing so many benchmarks now in a row and this phone is getting slightly hot so it might throttle a little bit but we're gonna move on to the this metal metal benchmarks I'm gonna click on run and now it's getting ready so we're gonna let it run through Alright, so we're done. We got 2621, as you can see here. And we want to compare it to other devices, yes. We're going to do that, so let's compare. And here we can see, this is a little bit interesting. I got six, 2600 here. The S6 got 2,500, the LG G4 got that score you can see on this list. So it's still on the top, however, it could be better. Again, it might be back to throttling because it's warm now if I feel like this. But we're going to take a screenshot of this at least. Do the browser screenshot, and now let's do the multi core. This is a beta one, so be aware of that. But we're still gonna do it, so let's run. All right, so we're done with this one as well. We get a score of 
3422. So let's compare that as well to other devices. Try again. Okay, so here we go. Here we can see some significant differences. So maybe it's not throttling, maybe it's actually not as good on the, on the metal tester. It might be that case. But here you can see that it beats the Galaxy S, its predecessor, by quite some. And then you can see that it's just killing all of the other devices on the list. You can pause it if you're interested. Alright guys, that was basically it. I'm going to finish off this video by putting all the scores here at the end. So you can have a look at them and you can pause them if you're interested in looking at them a little closer. And I hope you liked this video uh, overall and I hope to see you guys in the next one. And if you did like it, please do give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.